Guys, welcome back. It has been three or four months that I didn't do a single episode of uh, Machine Learning Journey, but I'm back on the track and I'm excited to bring you guys new content uh, because I think this one is going to be beneficial for uh, some of you out there too. Now, if you guys didn't know, I'm also I also like web development a lot. Um, I like to make my own little projects or big projects actually. Anyways, um. I figured that, you know, at, at some point I had to integrate machine learning and uh, web development together and so I took this afternoon as a perfect time to do so. And so, you know, just there's simply so... And then the, the front end framework that I usually use is React.js. So I found a tutorial on it that paired up React.js with some sort of other back end and uh, uh, and of course, it was Flask as the uh, backend endpoints. Um, it is really intuitive because, you know, I trained my models in Python. I mean, I trained my uh, models in uh, Keras, and Keras is only for Python. So you had to do the, you had to use Keras's load model function in order to load a model, and that is Python. And Flask is Python. So those things align perfectly with each other. Um, so before this, I actually didn't know that much about like integrating between different languages but it seems like it's perfectly fine of course you know the the back end and the front end of course does not have to be the same language to get things work i just never personally did a project that integrated different uh, ones i always use the uh, node.js for my uh, web development projects for my full stack i should say projects and so uh really interestingly you know the the medium article that i tutorial tutorial that i found uh, actually, it seems like I com I completed it, right? Because I found my I found my old comment on the uh, on the thing, and I was like, wait, hold up! I never did this tutorial. Why is there comments of me? Anyways, it's pretty interesting. So uh, apparently, I did this tutorial already. Um, so this tutorial, uh, you know, it, it it's really intuitive. It's um, React JS on the front end. You know, you have the forms. You have a form, and then once you press the predict button, you send the form to the Flask uh, backend, and then the Flask will pick up um, the, the the request data, and then and then run it through the the neural network slash whatever algorithm you're using, get back the result, and then uh, and then res.json. I mean, and then return the result to the front end, and the front end can display it. So at this point uh, in the video, you can see me logging a lot of stuff and printing a lot of stuff. Uh, it was because for some reason, you know, in the front end, I said, uh, I said, uh, fetch, right? Fetch to the endpoint. And afterwards, it is a promise based return. So afterwards, uh, things are going to get returned. And when it gets returned, alert that response. But for some reason, nothing was getting logged. And I couldn't figure out why. Um, I think it turned out to be at first. You know, like when I say that it turned, like I think it turned out to be, I'm, I'm I was really confused. Uh, for uh, I was really confused today. I, I think at first it was because I deleted some line from the previous code from the previous Iris uh, plant classifier code, um, and that made it so that the cores, uh, there was a cores rejection error. And if you don't know what cores is, it's uh, actually, I'm not sure what it is, but uh, the name at least is a uh, cross origin and something something. Basically, I believe it is an extra layer of security, and you have to have the same headers or some crap. I'm really unsure about it, but it turned out it wasn't a course error. I still don't know why it appeared to be a course error, but it wasn't. Uh, uh, I resolved it, but I think it was a curious error, and it was really weird. It had to do something with uh, the TensorFlow, so I had to use I had to use TensorFlow, which I never used before. I only use Keras, right? Even though Keras is uh, has uh, TensorFlow as the back end, I I just never used TensorFlow still. Um, yeah, but you know, at at the end, I still got this thing to work. If you let's take a look at the results. Uh, so as you can see, as you can see, the results aren't so good, but it is okay. Um, the newer network that I trained, so I trained this newer network, um, was trained on, I believe, only like 10,000, uh, 10,000, uh, 
Spanish to English peers, which is extremely poor, right? It, it haven't even explored like the even like one fifth of the vocabulary, I believe. Probably. Mm, so the results were totally absurd and bad, but I'm totally fine with it because you know now I can finally say that I know how to make a website that integrates machine learning in it. Now, uh, there are definitely other ways to do it. Uh, I think, I think, I think the best way is probably not React plus Flask as the front end and in the back end combo. It probably has to do with something with the TensorFlow.js setup. Because I think uh, that thing is getting really popular and there must be a reason. But um, there are d uh, different ways you can do this. You can do uh, do it all in, um, what is that thing called? Uh, Django. Yeah, you can do it all in Django. Uh, but then of course there are like infinite possibilities. You can go all wild on the different front end and then back end combinations. And then you know, you have your own preferable way of doing the back end and database integration. So. That becomes a whole nother uh, combinations uh, to consider but at the end the basic message is to just go do right because if you don't do you're not going to get the skill and that's one of the things that now i appreciate of myself which is that i really learned all of the things i know in uh, about computers myself um that really allows me to not get bored when i see something intriguing but looks really hard uh, at at the first sight so with that being said hope you guys have a nice uh friday is it or could be your saturday morning but i hope you guys have a nice day keep grinding